I saw a problem with the um, information that we were producing, my department was producing almost from the first week I worked at Unicredit. Uh, obviously, I was very worried about it. We're talking about billions. And my whole issue with Unicredit is we did not know our liquidity. The public in different countries might have not realized that there was a crisis until 2008, 2009, 2010. But in banking, we knew already in 2006 that, you know, we're coming to the end of the party. My report, reports were signed off, not only by my boss, but my other, but the, the other managers in the bank. And my uh, CEO kept saying, no, 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 you know, you're new here. You know, I've been here a long time. I used to be the head of trading and the head of treasury in this bank many years ago before I went back to Italy. And I said, he said, it's okay. And I said, how do you know that it's okay? We're talking about a 30 billion bank. Are you running the balance sheet on a beer coaster? We had a lot of discussions and eventually I insisted that we reported this 20% breach. And at the same time, I um, engaged um, a London-based IT company that specialized in this calculation to come and do the calculations for us. That was pretty much the moment of no return when they rang me at home one evening and said, Jonathan, you told the regulator that you're at 120 but you're actually at 140. So I went in the next day and resigned because the law was quite clear. It said five years in prison. Effectively, I was put in a position where I, an employee of the bank, was forced to, con to behave criminally. Now, no employer on the planet should be allowed to force an employee to conduct a crime. Obviously, uh, I wasn't the flavor of the month with a lot of people in the bank. In terms of retaliation, yes, things got very bad. I um, found it effectively impossible to find another job. When I started dealing with lawyers, with journalists, uh, the bank started threatening me, either directly or through the bank's own lawyers. Um, later on, people walked up to me in one or two conferences and said to me, Jonathan, 20 years ago, you'd be dead by now. I've been in hospital on more than one occasion, uh, suffering from depression, uh, from anxiety. I um, have lost everything I ever had. So at least I get to hold my head up high and say, I walked away from, I did not take part in that. I've often been asked, in hindsight, would I do what I did nine years ago at Unicredit? And my answer is categorically yes. Undoubtedly, I would do the same again. Because I get to sleep at night. <laughs>